Pak, tamak, pak, tamak, pak, tamak, pak, pak. Checking here, bring you another Boom Beach video. Uh, so in today's video, guys, I wanted to discuss a little. Hold on a second here. You go away. Uh, I wanted to discuss uh, something that I found on the forums here. Um, while we get into this, we're going to be diamonding up some Scorcher and Tank, because I haven't used Scorcher and Tank in a while, so, uh, I figured I'd get some of these guys rolling, and we're going to be taking on, uh, Dr. Terrence. Uh, so I wanted to discuss a couple things I saw posted on the forums recently, and it looks like, uh, the Mega Crab is going to be, uh, Halloween-based. So, <clears throat> I'm assuming this is going to affect when it actually comes, uh, when it actually shows up for us. Like, I was, um... I was told previously that it's going to be like a Thanksgiving um, timed event, so it was going to be like uh, this weekend or next weekend, however it works for the states. I'm not uh, not sure exactly. But, um, but yeah, someone posted on the forums, and it was like some sort of like uh, data mining thing. I'm not sure exactly how it worked, but uh, they basically found all this stuff uh, within the game. Um, I think they'll get banned soon for it. Uh, apparently, like. I don't know, it's not like allowed to be shown or something. So I wanted to do a quick video while we're still up. Uh, we're going to get the uh, Scorchy Scorchies down there. And um, <clears throat> yeah, basically it just shows like a bunch of uh, messages. Um, and they're all like, it's all like uh, what Dr. Terrence is saying. Like, you know how he does the messages uh, after you attack a Mega Crab stage, but whatever. Uh, and they're all like Halloween based. So um, like, I'll, I'll read some of them here. It says... Um, <clears throat> Hello, it's me, Dr. S. The S stands for scary. Uh, do you dare face the deep, dark secrets of my undersea monstrosity, aka Mega Crab? Um, I'd rather be trick and treating the neighbor islands with my Mega Crab. <clears throat> the dark hotness arises, and there's also this volcano base. Don't look now, Mega Crab right behind you. So yeah, you get the you get the point there. So it's it's like a lot of uh, just like Halloween based kind of theme. Uh, theme text that uh, he seems to have going here so I think we can expect uh, for the Mega Crab I'm not sure where everyone got the Thanksgiving thing from but I think it's safe to say that we can expect the Mega Crab to show up on Halloween uh, after seeing this post um, I'm just scrolling through it here to see if anything was uh, confirmed or not but uh, yeah it's definitely exciting as I said before I'm planning to do uh, a really big leaderboard push for the Mega Crab this time, guys. So I'm really looking forward to uh, to that. Um, <clears throat> Mega Crab being three days. Yeah, so it's just speculation at this point, I guess. But uh, ooh, ooh, a non-guaranteed crystal. We will take that, guys. Back, back, back. And um, yeah, so that's definitely something to uh, look forward to, I guess. And uh, another thing I wanted to talk about was. Uh, I have plans. I haven't uh, spoken to the guy yet or anything, but I do have another challenge uh, in mind here. Um, so I want you guys to post down in the comments um, what we could, uh, if you like, really liked how we did it with uh, with Crazy Turtle and how we did like the PvP and NPC bases and stuff like that. It'd be cool to do an operation one, but like obviously that'd be a little harder to uh, coordinate because we'd have to be like doing the same kind of base for it to be fair, like. Like, I couldn't be doing curtain call, like a curtain call base when he's doing like a massive attack one or something like that. But uh, it's not going to be with Crazy Turtle, it's not going to be with Bulk Able, it's going to be with someone else. Um, I'll give a little uh, little hint, I'm going to call it the Battle of the Beards. The Battle of the Beards, guys. So, uh, so definitely look forward to that. <clears throat> I haven't spoken to him about it yet, but I'm going to do a, a call out video within the next few days for sure. And, um, yeah, so I, d I, w I definitely want you guys to post in the comments, um, some stuff that you would, uh, want to see from us on, uh, <clears throat> like, uh, about the challenge specifically, or, um, or, like, the punishment, back, 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 that we could do there, I think that would be cool. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, no more on that, no more on that, we'll wait for the, uh, the actual video to get into the, the, uh, the real discussions there. So we're taking on, we're taking on Dr. Terrence. This is the tropical island, I believe. So it turns out, um, I was kind of disappointed um, when I went to, I, I, I called it when I was doing the video. I said I, um, when I was doing the, uh, the Dr. T world record attempt, I think I said at the end, I was like, oh, I'll probably look it up and it'll be like three minutes or something stupid. And that's basically exactly what it was. I looked it up and it was like three minutes and 13 seconds, I think, uh, was the actual record. 
which is like just nuts like like to to load all the stages and just get your guys to the hq that quickly i think is like a feat in itself let alone actually beating it so we're gonna save i think we can shock those three boom cans there i'm gonna take this one out and uh, i'm gonna try to stay to the right side i think i think that's the plan here back 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 okay Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna put the uh, tanks down first. And let the scorchers run a little, uh, little hashtag hog wild there, guys. So hopefully we can do this one without losing any, uh, without losing any scorchers. There's gonna be a lot of rockets pelting them, uh, which is okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take out that flamethrower so it doesn't uh, doesn't da damage the tanks too too much. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw the first shock down. Okay, we can't get them all in once. That's gonna help a lot guys Okay <clears throat> So once we take down dr. Terrence, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna break down our last operation. We did uh, we did curtain call again. I think uh, Curtain call or choke point or something, but uh, operations have been going well uh, Also, if you saw crazy turtles live stream yesterday, uh, I was posting in there and oops Focus up a little bit here guys I'm gonna throw uh, shock down there. We're gonna flare onto the HQ. Throw a couple critters there. Uh, I am gonna be joining a different task force, I think. And I think it's gonna be one of the one of the angry family ones. So it's gonna be one of Turtles' uh, task forces. Um, hopefully not the one that he's in because he posts all like the operation videos and uh, and everything for uh, for his task force. So hopefully we can find one that um, that he doesn't really show or like talk about a lot. <clears throat> But uh, yeah, I think that'd be cool to see um, if we can do like uh, massive attack or like some crazier operations or just show like like watching his live live stream yesterday was awesome. I saw some like insane Zuka attacks that I haven't really seen since I was in like uh, since I was in Zemot's uh, task force there for a while. <clears throat> like some of those uh, some of those guys have some crazy Zuka skills. So that's what it's all about, guys. Just joining. Uh, Joining the uh, the best guys and learning what you can. So I think this um, this one shouldn't be too bad. It looked like um, it looked like the last stage actually had higher level defenses for some reason. I'm not sure how that works. I've spoken about that before. I just I like don't understand what um, like like how the levels of defenses work in Doctor Terror because they seem like they're kind of all over the place. Um, we already lost the scorcher. Wow. Maybe we're uh, maybe we're wrong here, guys. Okay, we're gonna throw another one down there. I'm gonna get that cannon and hopefully the one behind it. Back, back, back. Okay, and we're taking down, taking down this guy here. Now we're gonna flutter off to the right here because we got all the tanks left. We do have a scorcher left too. Hopefully we can get him into that rocket launcher. Um, I think we'll be okay once we uh, once we take some of this stuff down, guys. Um, I just don't want that Scorcher to explode uh, within that group of all the tanks where he's in right now. Uh, we need to get him out and forward. We're going to throw Shock down there so he gets a little bit further forward before he blows up. And we got enough Shocks left to Shock the Rocket Launcher, so I think we'll be okay once um, once uh, we get through this little piece here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and flare the HQ. i got a ton of Shocks left, so that's fine. I'm going to throw some Critters down there. Health Kits. Yep, and there we go. Back, 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 back. So Dr. Terrence goes down. The Boomkin is firing on us, I guess, but we have so many tanks left that it doesn't really matter. Um, this should go down any second. Back, 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 back. And boom. Stage 7 goes down, guys. So that was pretty easy, uh, pretty easy terror for uh, Scorcher Tank. I, I found Stage 6 actually a little harder than 7, even though we lost more guys on it. I think that was just me being sloppy. Okay. So we don't have any uh, Mega Crab hints yet in game from uh, from Dr. Terrence just yet guys uh, so definitely be on the lookout for those coming within the next uh, next uh, week or so I guess okay so we're making up a masterpiece there okay so the last task force get out of here chicken back, 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 back. Um, the last task force the last operation uh, Spoilers, we got, we did finally get a hashtag chicken solo, guys. It's been a while, and it wasn't a Commodore, so it wasn't that hard, but, uh, but nice to see for once. The operations for chicken have, uh, they've been a struggle lately, lately for sure. <clears throat> but, um, definitely nice to get a, a good easy combo with full boost. 
like I said before, this is the exact same strategy um, as it is for every single um, for every single operation that you'll do. So basically, you barrage um, about right in between this line of the first two boom cannons, throwing artillery down uh, on the next mines, and then one batch of critters, and that's going to get you your line. And then depending on uh, your layout, sometimes you'll get rocket launchers instead of where the machine guns are. And then it gets trickier because you have to spend a lot more uh, smokes to get up there, but that's the only difference. Like it just costs more GBE, it doesn't actually change anything. <clears throat> it's still going to be the exact same uh, when you get up there. So this was a pretty easy combo now that I look at it, because see where the this boom cannon is here? That's usually a shock launcher, which means another shock is needed. Um, I didn't really scout this out or anything, I just kind of flew in uh, hashtag chicken wild. And uh, yeah, so one shock machine guns, one shock and flamethrower, that's all I needed. I think I threw another one down. Um, actually, I think I needed another shock and the flamethrower is behind me. Yeah, and I did that one down, that was pretty easy. Um, I think I think it was Turbo had a really good attack uh, in either this operation or the last one. Um, this one was really good. I remember this one. So uh, shout out to Doc. Um, I guess this is the way to do dredge. Apparently, um, I mean he could have done it um, the way that you've seen uh, you've seen us do it in uh, in my old Mambo uh, task force, where basically we just go up left, clear everything, and then um, have a little pocket for the Zookas or uh, Hookas to finish. And uh, So you see he, he does a different path here, and watch this, this is nuts, this is absolutely nuts. Oh, I'm glad I played this replay now. Look at how close he gets to these mines. Like, I would just be so nervous at this point. Like, look, look at how perfectly his Zookas are walked up. I'll play it in real time after just so you can get like the full effect. But yeah, this was just nuts to see. <clears throat> right here, I figured he was done. I was like, oh, he's going to pull a chicken and step on all these mines. Like, he's done. Like, look how close he is. Look how close he is. Look, at, look how close he is this one. The, all his guys would have died if he wasn't there. <clears throat> he said after that um, that was his plan, I guess. That's why he boosted his troop health. But I don't know. That, that seems pretty intricate to be part of the plan. But nonetheless, it was an amazing attack. Um, he didn't need that many shocks. <clears throat> Uh, once he got on the, to the to the core here, I think it was three. So one, two, three. Yeah, I don't think those mortars were in range or anything. So he kind of messed up that smoke time, but I mean he had uh, he had so much GBE once he got back there that it didn't really matter. Uh, he throws the critters down there, and boom! So that was a really awesome attack by uh, by Doctor. Um, we'll show the. We'll show the mind walk again in uh, in real time so you can get the full effect because that was just nuts. The the chat was going crazy when he was walking over those mines. <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't know. It seemed like it seemed like he was right there. Like remember that video um, I posted a while back? Uh, it was like mines equal bad or something. Like it seemed like it seemed like he was just as close, if not closer, to them. So maybe there's a there's an email for Supercell in there. But yeah, I don't know. That was cool to see. Uh, I want to find Turbo's attack because I think it was really good too. Uh, what do we got here? Turbo, Turbo, Turbo. Maybe it was in the one before this? Um, this one, I think? Tanker, Tree, Turbo. Another Dredge one? This might have been it, I don't know. Um, we'll see here. This might be the exact same attack, I'm not sure. I just remember Turbo had a really good attack recently. I'm not sure if it was this one or not. Um, so it looks like he's doing this the other way, the way we used to do it, where you just go up left and, uh, and you just kind of, I think, I'm assuming that he clears the machine guns and everything before he, uh, before he locks onto the core here. Uh, yeah, so he's double smoking there. Um, there's no rocket launchers or anything, really, uh, those, those two at the back aren't going to be in range when he's on the core. So he's just firing away here. Yeah, so he's just clearing, he's just doing it the way I was talking about where you just clear the pocket. And then he doesn't even need to flare back. I think he was worried about those mortars uh, killing too many of his guys. He's got enough in the pocket there to kill it. And that is going to go down. Back, back, back. And yeah, we don't need to watch this then. Boom, core explodes, whatever. <clears throat> So, uh, so yeah, definitely let me know in the comments what uh, what you want to see 
in the hashtag Battle of the Beards, guys. And um, also, I want to know what you think of the uh, October uh, Halloween Mega Crab stuff. Uh, if you think it's too long, if you think it's uh, the perfect time for it. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a holiday or something around Halloween or how that works. Um, that's why I thought Thanksgiving, like this weekend for us, would have been perfect because we have uh, Monday off. But obviously it's not here right now, so um, so we got to, uh, we've got the, the Halloween crab to look forward to. So let me know about that in the comments. Let me know about the hashtag Battle of the Beards, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out.